you may recognize these stairs behind me. This is in fact the Kariakis Mansion. Now I'm on the set of Days of Our Lives, which is the longest running scripted TV show in the world. There's one issue I have, the actors never seem to age. I want to know, what is the secret behind their youth? The character of Dr. Marlena Evans is central to some of the most outrageous plots. And seeing her through them all has been the evergreen Deirdre Hall. I simply have to ask you this question because you guys never seem to age. You look so beautiful still. What is your secret? There uh, it is. Shameless plug. I wrote a book because uh, I've spent almost 40 years in front of a camera. And that means every angle, every unforgiving piece of lighting uh, and wardrobe, and, uh, and I learned a lot about it. So this is about how you do it. And w w the working title was, Does This Mascara Make My Ass Look Big? <laughs> but then we lost our courage and called it, How Does She Do It? If you had to earmark your, your top highlights of, of your years on the show, uh, what would those be? The, 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 the stories that are fun are uh, stories that I know the audience will just resonate to. Our weddings, our proposals, the, 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 those sorts of moments when the audience just waits around for them. Um, they're also a lot of fun to play. How Drake Hogerston came to be John Black and a lead on the show is the unlikeliest of real-life storylines. How did this machine of a body go from baseball league to the big screen? That's interesting. There was a, uh, there was a, a, a player on our team from Kansas, and his sister had moved to New York to be an actress. And she wrote her brother a letter and said, you know, I'm trying out for Columbia Pictures National Talent Search. And I'm going to write a 150-word essay on why I should go to Hollywood to be a movie star. And if they like my essay, they may call me in for an interview. And they're going to interview 500 in New York, 500 in Chicago, and 500 in L.A. And they're going to bring 30 people out to L.A., put them through a workshop for three months, and then give five contracts. So all 25 guys in the minor leagues on my team with the Yankees started writing a 150-word essay on why we should get out of professional baseball and go be movie stars. And... I don't know what I wrote, a bunch of adjectives probably. And uh, we put it in a Rawling shoe box with our eight by 10 baseball glossy and, and shipped it off. And uh, about a month later, there was a guy up in the stands at my home game and he's calling me Drake. Now my full name is Don Drake Hogeston. I was played baseball as Don Hogeston, but for the Columbia Pictures talent, Expose, Drake. we all put our middle names on it because we thought it sounded weird. You know, everybody had a weird middle name. So this guy's calling me, Drake, you suck! Really, it was, I guess, and I'd spit tobacco his way, you know, and, but I was really playing good. He was my, my good luck charm. And then, uh, and then finally the old man came down and goes, my name's Joshua Shelley from Columbia Pictures. He goes, I was intrigued by your essay. He goes, I wanted to come and watch you play. And he goes, I think you act more like a pl ball player than play like one. Wow. And I'd like to bring you out in the off season, put you through a workshop, promise to have you back by spring training. Well, I was one of the five that got a contract. So I took my contract back to spring training and I said, I want to go a league higher than I am. And they said, see you in the movies. The rest is history. So it's, uh, you know, strange things happen, but that's, that's the facts. Lauren Coslow, AKA Kate, starred on America's two other biggest soaps, but found her true home on Days. Dave, it's so lovely to meet you let too. Me, let me pull your chair oh. up for you and be a gentleman. Oh, thank you, what a gentleman. And I would like to welcome you to the Brady Pop. Wow. Yeah, it's family owned by the Bradys for decades. And you're always very welcome here. Well, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Although I was married to a Brady once, but how soon they forget. But anyway, that's okay. I come in here anyway because I don't care. Isn't it a bit early for Christmas though? In the real world, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but in um, Salem, we're actually like three to four months ahead. We take three to four months ahead. So it's Christmas time, and then it's going to be New Year's, and then we're done with that. But that, it looks pretty, doesn't it? It looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. When you look at the scripts, do you sometimes get a fright of, of, of where it's going and what's happening, or do you generally just go with the flow? I oh, know. There's definitely sometimes you look at the script and go, oh, no. Thinking again, I'm not sure where you are, but there's been definite brushes with disease, whenever you see anything like that. It's like, oh no, I'm suddenly coughing. What does that mean? <laughs> it's not serious. You know, there's those kind of things. And, and also my character has taken definitely some really strange twists and terms, and I've done things that have 
pretty horrific. I don't think I've ever actually killed anyone, but I've, you know, I've worried about that. But, you know, but I see myself, my character is always redeemable, and I always try to have something there for her. So even if you're a little nervous about it, if you're a little nervous about it, I find that's very important to always find the humanity underneath the terror. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to divulge some of your secrets because when when we look on the screen, I mean, and even now, you, you look absolutely gorgeous. What is oh, this? What you. is the secret? I live far from Hollywood. I live on a farm. I grow organic vegetables. In all seriousness, I have horses and chickens and goats. And uh, my my off-screen life is very different from my on-screen life. So maybe I have a balance. I think it's about that balance. Christian Alfonso is a former junior Olympic gold medal skater and Vogue cover girl with her own jewellery line. So you probably know her better as the lovely Hope Brady. Here we are at the Brady pub. Look at the tab. Uh, I'm looking at this. This is your tab. Uh, yeah, but you don't have to pay it, right? Because you're I a Brady. I'm a Brady, of You course. get everything for free. <laughs> I have a running tab. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've got your script with you, too. I do. Mm -hmm. This is the show that I'm actually shooting today. Uh, 11,991. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time. It is. This actually airs uh, December 28th, 2012. I'm going to throw you quite a tough question now because you've been on the show for so many years, but are, are there any moments that really stand out to you? Uh, and besides Bo, are there any other actors you really love acting alongside? You know, I have to say everybody on the show does it for me because they all challenge me in different ways and make me step it up. And I love that. I don't want to get comfortable. I mean, there's still times, it's so funny, Pete and I will be rehearsing and they'll be like, are you nervous? And I'm like, I am, I'm a little nervous. I can feel the butterflies in my stomach. And it's like, after all of these years, I guess it's the excitement that I still have and the passion that I have for my job that I love so much. I want it to be great, and I want you guys to really enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying it. That must be why you still look so good. Oh, you're very kind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take those rose-colored glasses right off you. Thank you very much. All of, everyone looks amazing on the show. I just, it's I, all the lights. Yeah. It's all the filler. And we have a great makeup. And you love your job. Time. I do. I love my job. The relative new kid on the block is Galen Gehring, one of the stars fans will be pleased to see arriving in South Africa as guests of SABC3 later this month. With Russian ancestry, he took these conditions in his stride. Yeah, you're not really dressed for this kind of cold, snowy Oh, is your hand freezing right oh, now? Oh, wow, that's cold. <laughs> you should not eat this snow either. <laughs> Even though it's not yellow, you yeah. still don't want to eat it. But as you can see, it's not real. No. You've, so, you've yeah. been on the show for four years? Yeah, it'll be four years next month, yeah. What is it like working with other actors that have been on the show for over 30 years? Well, I actually just found out that Christian had been on for 30 years. I had no idea. And honestly, when she says that she still gets nervous or is like, you know, butterflies, she totally does. Yeah. Uh, so it's great. As far as, you know, being an actor, to be able to have longevity in this business, it's kind of uh, a rarity. Yeah. So, uh, so bless them, you know. I've only been on four, so what can I say? It's yeah. been good. What is wrong with you? What kind of man are you? Excuse me? Everyone has their favorite, and for Yanez, it's Ariane Zucker. Ari, your character, Nicole, she's quite a troubled character that doesn't really seem to learn from her mistakes. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Do you mind elaborating on that question? <laughs> That's what makes her so wonderful to play. Yeah. And uh, I think I've always been so in love with this character because she just, she cannot see past her nose, you know, and she's a survivor. Yeah. And everything she does is literally, it's, it, she thinks about it and she doesn't worry about, you know, what's going to happen to her afterwards. And uh, I enjoy that a lot. I enjoy the fact that she's not attached to anyone. She doesn't have a family, which sometimes can be detrimental to a character. But she is, she's phenomenal in that way because she's such an emotional wreck. And I just want to give her a hug sometimes. Yeah. So where do you want to see her character go? I'd love to see her be able to dive into what really happened in her past. And maybe even develop a relationship with, you know, a Abe or something, because that is now my brother's um, father. Mm -hmm. So to even have some kind of father figure, because I think that she looks at these men mm -hmm. that she chases all the time, like as a father figure, and it's really not helpful to her, you know, livelihood. So I, I, w I would really, I'd really love to tap into that. If you're ever looking for a man who's kind of a mix between EJ and Brady, I'm there for the cameo role. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I found him. Uh, <laughs> I would have gone in more. Now he's bright. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm rushing. Go away, go. Away. <laughs>
Ariane, Galen and Drake will be at Sandton City on the 31st of October and at Canal Walk on Friday the 2nd of November. Be there.